Olivia Palmer, and I'm here to invite you to learn more about the news, how we shoot the episodes, and how we edit the show, and much, much more. So let's get started. Reminder students, you can't be on the news if you have bad grades or have, miss have been behaving badly, so get those missing assignments turned in and start acting accordingly. It all starts with job applications. Students who want to be on the Plymouth News crew have to fill out an application. On the application, they must choose three jobs that they want, to d they want and write down why they would be good at those positions. There are many jobs such as news anchors, uploaders, interviewers, and lots, lots more. Then th there are the people in charge. The story producer, the interview producer, the technical director, and the floor director. After that, our teacher, Mr. Paxton, interviews the applicants to see if we are qualified for the job. He asks them to, they, he asks them questions and gives them assignments. Then he chooses the cast. There are a few people who fit each part except for the bosses. The story producer is me. The interview producer is Anna. The floor director is Nyeli and the technical director is Logan W. Then we created the calendar, which shows when we're planning the scripts, the scripts, when we shoot, and which news anchor will be starring in that episode. Then we had to shoot our first show, which starts with the script. Every episode starts with a script. I have to get two news anchors and tell them each to write about a paragraph on a certain topic. Once they finish, we type it into a script on the computer. Then we print it out for the floor director and her crew so they can decide what shot to film. After that, we copy the script onto the computer, into the teleprompter. Then, Nyeli's team gets ready to shoot. Let's go talk to Nyeli about what they do. Nice. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do for the news? Well, my job isn't as big as Olivia's because she used to make up lots of ideas. But first, <laughs> we kind of um, get, like... An idea they tell us, like, is, is it going to be outside? Is it going to be here where we're at right now? Or is it going to be, like, interviewing some people? Or is, There's lots of different stuff. So first we get told what that is. Then, once we know, we get everything ready. Like, in this case, we're doing the normal thing. So we get everything ready. We get the camera, the teleprompter. And we get the lights, everything, make sure there's no shadows in the back. And we get the people who are in charge of, kind of like, make sure you, they record, and make sure everything sounds good over there, see? <laughs> and then, so after that's done, um, Olivia here gives us the paper, the one that we have right here. If you want to show you right here. Right here, they read this off. So they don't memorize it. If you guys thought they memorized it, no, they're not. You don't memorize it. They read it off, okay? That's why their eyes, you know, when they're looking at the camera, they go, you see, yeah, because they're reading. Thanks for that, Nayeli. Now let's talk about the next process. After Nayeli, Logan's crew, the technical people, have to edit. Let's go talk to Logan about stuff that I cannot do. I help the boys who help, who do some of the editing. Um, if they have a question or if there's a new technique that we found, like chroma key, we put it down somewhere, like right here. Ah. Uh, sometimes when it's not working, you have to go over it, and sometimes you even have to get Mr. Paxson because it's not working. Because the MacBook's special. Um, so Lolo, how much do you like your job? Like, do you like enjoying it? Um, I do like doing it. I like, I love computers and I'm a bit of a geek towards technology, so. I w Thanks, Logan. I would not be able to remember all that. I can big barely figure out how to work a computer. That's how we get the main part of the episodes done. Now let's go talk to our interview producer, Anna. Oh. I have interviewers and I talk to them about what interviews we're going to do and then I help them write questions and we tell the person we're interviewing and give them their questions and we practice so much. Um. Thanks, Anna. Now, it may be fun to do interviews, but let's take a look at, at this fun job. 
Let's go talk to our designer, Kylie. She draws the logo, the panther, and if you've noticed, a few other things like the Grinch and the cat in the hat. Let's go. Well, I do all the drawings for Plymouth News, and I do the backgrounds on the green screen. I draw things, and I pick things for it. Thanks, Kylie. That sounds like fun, but a lot of time and effort, too. Thanks for joining me on Fly Mail News, and for the cast and crew of Fly Mail News, I'm Olivia Palmer. Have a great day, everyone. We are live. Uh, oh. Our interview with Miss Hands on the New Year's Spring Fling. <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to redo that for you. Hi, so what are you going to be doing for spring break? Oh, I have a lot of things to do. I have a whole list. Well, that's cool. Mr. Paxson's a weirdo. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming May 4th music program, Happy Guest. Our first Jesse Christopher will be <laughs> I'll be going to Wichita for the weekend. Hello from the other side. I'm going to hang a curtain rod and make up the lance. <laughs> Um, and now we have a special report on our Valentine's Day parties from one of our sixth graders, Brian. That's you! Okay, Why are you waiting so long? Because they're cool. And while I'm gone, they're going to come and scrape my ceilings in my bedroom and my bathroom. That's cool. <laughs> It's your favorite color. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Captain Hook by Piper and Family. Captain Hook went sailing across the seven seas, one hand a hook and his hair full of fleas. He harpooned a whale and laughed with delight. Hook in his toothless grin shouted, What an easy fight! There once was a man with a dog. Why ever? There once was a man with a dog. They went for a walk in the fog. They could not see, got stung by a bee. So they walked home and fed the hog. On the Stinky School Bus by Ellie Motipka. Every beginning of the school day starts this way and ends the day. On the Stinky School Bus. It was that smell I always yell, but no one will tell. On the Stinky School Bus, it is always loud and crazy. I'd walk to school, but I'm too lazy. It's not all that bad because at the end of the day, I get to go back to my home. Yay. Diablo the rooster is ten inches tall, but when he is chasing me, he forgets he is small. Even when Daddy walks to the yard, the Diablo the rooster is standing guard. His road comb comes up and he cocks his head. That's when I know if I don't run, I am dead. He chases the twins, my sisters and me. We make it a game and run around the tree. We run to the house, we know we are safe for today. We can't wait tomorrow when we ask him to play. Love. There once was a man named Horatius. The man was very flirtatious. A woman said, this must be good luck. She said, I'm feeling very love-struck. And when he saw her, he said, oh my gracious. It's almost the end of school. I'm so excited for the pool. Days I get to sleep in, getting up so early should be a sin. More free time with my friends. Every day is like the weekend. Softball every other night. Delicious s'mores to my delight. Ten days come quick, please. I'm begging on my hands and knees. Is that good?